What's going on, y'all? I am out here today on Captain Collier's Blackjack. We are about, what, 30, 40 miles offshore right now? About 40 miles from the island. Yep, about 40 miles offshore. We're going to be doing some deep dropping today, looking for trigger fish, bee liners, maybe some amberjack, even though they're not in season, dropping some jigs, a lot of stuff going on today, just a little bit of freestyling. Y'all check it out. This is what we're going to be starting off using for bait right here. Got some squid that Collier is chopping up. Juicy, juicy California squid. And we are using our sword fillet knife here. Yep, those will be linked down in the description. If you want to pick up a sword knife, check out that link. And so we're going to be targeting some fish with smaller mouths. So, of course, you don't want to be dropping no huge baits. We're going to cut these up. Little small chunks. We're going to be using small hooks. All right, y'all. So, yeah, we're about to drop down. See if we can peel some fish. Y'all stay tuned. See what happens. We just got us a little chicken rig right here. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and drop down. See what happens. Oh, just got to the bottom. And we're getting bit. Getting bit. So we got them. There we go. That is feeling like a bee liner, y'all. Let's pull them on up looking for them to be red 110 foot of water right here and it is a bee liner y'all so that is the right species but it is the wrong size for sure uh we get to keep 10 of these a piece but they do got to be 10 inches and these are some amazing tasting fish right here uh in my opinion they taste better than red snapper uh but this one's got to go back so let's go ahead and send them down up and back down all right so the squid has been picking up some smaller uh bee liners and trigger fish so we're gonna swap over to a jig it's a little slow pitch see if we can pick up something bigger on it oh we're on there we go yep yeah, hooked up on the jig there oh yeah uh got a little bit of weight to it come on definitely oh oh no trigger. that might be a good trigger y'all nice. <clears throat> come up Don't be than Ed's. come up come on first drop on a slow pitch oh yeah that's the trigger and we get nailed by a big fish come on that might if that's a trigger, that might be my PB. No way. Oh, what is that? Is that, is that a Bonita? Well, he's doing circles like that. Come on. Don't be a Bonita. It is. No! <laughs> Bonita? Yeah, man! Uh, when he when he bait? Uh, nah, I don't think so. We got plenty of squid. Alright, well, first drop with the jig. And we catch a dog on Bonita. Come on, let's try for something else. Oh, I'm on. Got him. I'm on. That's a good one. Right off the bottom. That's a good one. Come on up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Here we go. Yeah. Yes, sir. Cranking them in. That's going to be a trip. Oh my goodness. Good? Benita? <laughs> oh! Y'all on that like that ain't never happened to none of y'all, man. Hold that up jig. for a Hold that up for How a you picture. That on the right in the butthole, man. Yeah, you gotta that, get a picture. Wow, that. that's crazy. Y'all don't act like that's never happened <laughs> to y'all. That's a big one. Y'all know. It's a good one. <laughs> like when you foul hook a fish, pulling them up sideways, in 125 foot of water, it's gonna feel big. I'm sorry, I thought it was a trigger fish, maybe a, a legal bee liner. It uh, is what it is, it happens to all of us. <laughs> Let's drop back down. Let's drop back down and uh, see if we can do something better than that. Let's try not to hook a bee liner in the butthole this time. Got him, right off the bottom. Come on up. What do we got? Dead weight. 
Probably snagged another one, huh? Right in the butthole. <laughs> hey there. Again? Hey there. I, I mean, I missed his butthole, but. Is that a beeline? It is. I quit. I'm on. Biggin'. 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 Come on, Nate. Come on. All the way on bottom. Come on up. That might be a beeliner. Come on up. If it is, that's going to be a good one. Be a yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh, man! That's the biggest one. Yeah. Y'all, we did. We swapped one. off of the jig, went back to squid, and uh, ended up landing a good beeliner right here. Y'all look at that fish right there. Just beautiful, beautiful fish. That is going to make an excellent meal. We actually have something planned here today. Uh, Eduardo is going to be whipping up some ceviche here on the boat. So I get to show that to y'all. And this might be one of the fish that goes in there. Go ahead and pop them in the box. Collier and Ed have uh, hooked up on a few beeliners already. But that is my first legal one. All right, let's drop back down, see if we can pick up another one. I actually landed that one all the way on bottom. Collier and Ed have been hanging around the 90 to 100 foot range. Uh, we're in 120 foot of water right now. Got him. Oh, Got him. Going, That's a good one. That's a good beeliner. Come on over here. In the boat. Yep, yep. That's a good one. Boom! We'll Alright, y'all. Another good one for the box. Oh yeah. Alright, dropping back down now. We are on a good beeliner bite right here on this reef. It's also some good triggers. Uh old Ed back here has actually already put the three triggers in the box uh, for our boat limit. So if we do hook one of those, it will be going back. And uh, they have all come from this same reef right here. Yeah, that felt like a really good hit. Cranking them on in. Come on. Come on, baby. It's gonna be a good beeliner, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ah. Oh, oh, Fooled me. <laughs> well, the old red snapper here. No shortage of red snapper on these reefs out here, y'all. Well, today is your lucky day. Even if it was snapper season, we'd be throwing you back. Because although you are legal, you are a little on the small side, buddy. All right. All right, let's send them back down, y'all. Bye-bye. Well, although we are on a really good squid bite, I'm going to drop my jig back down just because if you've never done it before it's fun and uh there's all sorts of stuff down there that'll eat a jig too collier says that we're on a spot that holds uh almaco and also greater amberjack so we'll drop that jig down see if we can pick something up on it oh we're on we're on yes sir ah oh. You let go. Oh, he's on again. That's a bigger one. I lost him in another one. Followed it up and nailed it. Mm, come on. Not feeling too, too big now. Yeah, he is. That might be Almaco there. Don't be a Bonita. He's doing circles. It looks like it's going to be a Bonita. Ha! Ah! <laughs> All right, give my jig back, dude. These are some super fast, powerful, and beautiful fish, but they are not much for table fare. There are some people that say they taste like tuna. I've tried them. I would have to disagree. To me, they are uh, better off being just bait. And since we don't need that bait, man, he choked that jig. Choked it. 
I don't want to get that blood in the boat. Oh, we're on, we're on, on the drop. That's a decent one. Good. I don't think it's as big as yours. Hey, Should they, be a keeper though. They can't all be. They can't all be. <laughs> Come on up. Yeah. It's all right. Throw them in the box. Boom. What are we looking for? Was you all the way down? No, he hit it on the way on yeah. on a drop, and I just kind of checked it, and he was there. They're up high. All right, so this is the B liner that we're gonna use. Eduardo over here is gonna be making our ceviche. Captain Collier's gonna fillet them up. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how this comes together. I have, I personally have made ceviche once. It didn't turn out great for whatever. I left it marinating for like eight hours and it just didn't seem like the fish kind of cooked all the way through. It was still kind of chewy. Uh, so I'm interested to see how they do it and uh to see how it turns out our limit of vermilion snapper as you can see right here i put the last few that we caught in a little salt water brine with some salt water with some ice and i also cut their gills just to bleed them out so ed right here behind the camera is going to make some some ceviche for us apparently he's known to make some good stuff so we're going to go ahead and fillet a couple of these out and then we're going to swap over to him and let him cut the fillets up into some little small chunks and the vegetables as well but we are going to be using our sword fillet knife this fish was literally swimming 10 minutes ago so it is as fresh as it comes hopefully i don't mess this up too bad it's not the best cleaning uh position here y'all check that out right there beautiful Vermilion snapper fillet. We're gonna go ahead and take the skin off here. Get our knife started. I'm just gonna kind of wiggle it back and forth. Peel that meat off the skin just like so. And that fillet right there is ready to go. We're gonna slap them on this cutting board, get a couple more fillets on there, and then Ed's gonna dice them up for us. All right, so Ed over here is chopping up our fish. Oh, yes, sir. Got, got to make sure we cut it real small pieces so it cooks really well on that line. And we're going to soak it on. Just squeezing some limes in here. Ed says we're going to use about 10 limes. Get all that juice. And the citrus is what's going to cook that fish. The acid in those limes. We're going to get them right. Let it sit there on that lime juice for 45 minutes. And uh, then we add on the vegetables. All right, so the ceviche has been sitting for about 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes now. And uh, we're just going to chop up some vegetables. And I'm just going to show y'all real quick what vegetables we're using. I don't have to necessarily show y'all the whole chopping process. So we got orange avocado, red onion, uh, some tomato, jalapeno, cilantro, mango, and then he's also got some seasoning down here that we're gonna add in there. So we're gonna go ahead and chop this up, throw it in a bowl with the fish. All right, so this is the finished product right here. Awesome looking ceviche. We'll go ahead, we got some tortilla chips. We'll go in for a little bit of a taste test for y'all as we always do. Try to get us a little bit of everything on there. Probably not gonna be able to do it in one bite, but there it is. Ceviche. That's good, man. The mango adds that, that sweetness to it. A little bit of jalapeno for the kick. Cilantro. Awesome, awesome boat snack. Y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. We're about to dive in. We appreciate Captain Collier for uh, inviting us out here on his boat. I'm going to link his channel down below. If you're not a subscriber, head over there, check him out. He has amazing content here on the Gulf Coast. It's an uh, honor having you on the boat today, Nathan. Yeah, well, you I did appreciate it. an amazing it. job. Just couldn't ask for much better. Well, right on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, if y'all would, hit the like button, comment with any questions, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.